Harky here with us this evening. Hark, thank you for the time. Uh, who has a question for our bullpen coach? Christy Ackert, please unmute. Hi, Mike. Oh, I was how just you wondering. Good. How are you? Good. I was just wondering. Um, so much had been made about how hard this season was going to be on pitchers. What has been the biggest challenge of this season for your relievers? I think the biggest challenge was not really for the relievers, but was for Booney and the rest of the you know the coaching staff to figure out. Uh, when we thought they were middle of the season to end of the of a regular season ready, I think that was probably the biggest challenge. Where would you say they are right now? Are they end of the season ready? Yeah, yeah, I think they're I think they're all pretty close. I mean, we've we've used one guy three days in a row, and I think that was Greeny. And then last year we didn't use one guy three days in a row, but uh, with a with a couple injuries here and there, and the fact that. Uh, we had to play 21 games in 18 days, made it kind of, of a necessity, but not of a necessity where we were going to take for granted uh, Greeny's health. I mean, the two previous outings he had were both under 10 pitches. So we felt uh, he felt strong enough to, to do it, and, and it worked out really well. Thank you. Lindsay Adler, you have the next question. Please unmute. Hey, Harky. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about that three-day kind of rule that you guys have. What's the feedback that you've gotten from from your relievers about, um, you know, staying fresh by not going three in a row? Well, I mean, I think it's very much appreciate, appreciated. I know if, if I was a pitcher in this bullpen and knew that I wasn't I, – I, there was there was a good chance I was was not going to get overused, and uh, we always look at the big picture, which is you know winning a division, going to the playoffs, and winning a World Series. Uh, I think it's appreciated. I mean, we need these guys at the end a lot more than we need them in the first third of the third of the uh, season. Not saying that we're taking that for granted, but. I think we have a lot of guys that can step into roles for one or two days at a time. And then with the postseason schedule announced today with no off days during the division series and championship series, does that, does that kind of put you guys in a position where you have to start rethinking some of the roles that you may have been planning for, for your bullpen? Um, it's definitely going to be tricky. I think it's going to be somewhere where – you're obviously going to see teams that have uh, deeper starting pitching that is probably going to benefit from it more. Um, we're hoping with the addition of Cole that that definitely will clean some things up for us and hopefully give us a chance to get the kind of rest needed for the relievers to win a World Series. Brian Hoke, please unmute. You have the next question. Hey, Mike. Hi, Just with, with the whole different kind of social distancing and everything that's going on this year, what ha, how different has it been in the bullpen during games? Like, what's going on behind the scenes that we can't see? Well, all of our guys have masks on uh, for most of the whole time they're in the bullpen. I say the only time they really don't is when they go out to warm up and get ready to go into a game. But everybody brings a mask. Everybody has has a mask on. 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, so I think the fact of the matter that we haven't had any positive tests since Chappie in the first part of the of spring training too says a lot about our guys. And I mean, it's not that Booney or Cash or anybody in our organization is constantly harping on them to wear their mask, but these guys are, these guys have, have been pretty disciplined. What's been the most challenging part for you as a coach in this environment? Um, probably the most challenging part is knowing that you only have 60 games in which to prove, you know, your, your seating in the playoffs. Um, but with the way the playoffs are set up, with the fact that there's real, no, no real home field advantage other than the, the wild card spot, I mean – 
every seed I think is dangerous. Every seed has a chance to win a World Series. I truly, I truly believe that. And I mean, we obviously believe that we have a great opportunity. I mean, obviously we wanted to win a division, but first and foremost, we need to get to the playoffs. And, and basically we start where everybody else starts with the exception of we bat second if we don't win the division or come in second. Uh, Meredith, please unmute. Hey, Mike. Adam Adovino has had some ups and downs this season. What have you seen from him lately, and, and what do you say to him? Aside from his outing in Buffalo, I think Otto, Otto has been very solid. I think uh, the work he put in this winter to uh, be a more efficient pitcher against lefties, knowing that we have the three-hitter rule, um, has, he's done great. I mean, I think if we take that one outing away from him in Buffalo, which I think was an aberration, um, relievers go through ups and downs throughout the year. Greeny has gone through ups and downs. Um, Chappie has. Britton has. Um, we've had two guys basically down there who've probably had the least amount of, 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 of bad times and have been going pretty strong, and that's Holder and Sessa, knock on wood somewhere, that have been very, very – Pitched very well for us down there. But Otto, I think, is going to be a guy who's going to be obviously very much needed. I mean, he had the, the hiccup in, in Buffalo. But other than that, I mean, we talked about some things about not using his fastball as much and using his slider a little bit more. And I, I think he's taken to that. So I think that's going to be an adjustment that we're going to see moving forward. Why do you think he's leaned on the fastball more and hasn't used the slider, which had been such an effective pitch for him? Well, I think last year um, Otto got, in, got into a lot of deep counts because he was so slider heavy and hitters are constantly sitting on his slider that sometimes he felt he had to be perfect with it. So he never really um, committed to – believing that his fastball could be effective. And I think his first, first, first six to eight outings, I think his fastball proved that he can be just as effective with his fastball, especially if he's locating it. And he proved he can do that. And I think that's just another weapon for him now. And I think that the outing in Buffalo, like I said, was an aberration. I think he just got too fastball happy. And um, he, he even mentioned the same thing, that he kind of just forgot about his slider. But I think it was a good – a good lesson to be learned, especially before we get into the playoffs. Thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm. Take a final question from John Schwartz. Hey, Mike. Uh, when, you, when you look into the last few weeks, kind of as you were approaching finally getting a scheduled off day yesterday, what do you take from that into the next 13 games, in a sense, straight, in terms of how you kind of worked your way through that to get yourself ready for the playoffs this time? Well, I think the biggest thing for me was that we were able to get out of that, that long stretch of games relatively healthy bullpen-wise, with the exception of, of Loyal Siga, um, who actually had nothing wrong with his arm. It was, it was, it was more of a, just a sickness. So, I mean, for me, I think we came out of that pretty well and pretty well equipped to move through these last 13 games of the season into the playoffs. Park, thank you for joining us. Appreciate the time. Everybody will see you post game.